tomorrow. Tomorrow, of course, is election day. Uh, it is a biggie. Uh, I mean, we've got uh, this one is it, this one feels a little polarized, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, the the people who have voted in advance is just way up there this time. It, it, it's, it, I think. I mean, if you look at the total number of people who voted, uh, more than half of them's already voted. Right, and and none of us none of us think that uh, the results tomorrow night, as we go to bed, will be accepted. Well, you know, each state, unless it's a landslide, each state has different rules. Some of them can't even touch the ballots until after election day, and then some can separate them but can't count them. Right. Some are already counting them. Right. So it's all over the road. Well, yeah. I, I, Pennsylvania the- is going to be a key one. I, I've seen the way they've you know. <laughs> And again, the electoral college is all that matters, um, and they've been, you know, dividing these things up and moving column to column. You, you can see them on any channel. Um, it, you know, Pennsylvania looks like it's a pretty important which way that goes. Yeah, some reason. E- even if out. if Trump does not win, uh, you know, Michigan, Wisconsin, that area, he has to have Pennsylvania. Well, let me ask you this too. I, I heard I saw today where the. The Home Home Depot uh, founder come out and back in Trump, so people are screaming to boycott them. I don't hear people screaming to boycott businesses that back Biden. No. So again, who is the who who's the troublemaker? Oh, here? Greg. But remember, right? Greg, you Greg, you know this. Hey, good. Greg, I hope they boycott. It won't be near as long a line when I go to get my trims off. Absolutely, <laughs> the one you've been wanting, <laughs> Greg. But remember, <laughs> but you see what I'm saying. But you grew up around me, and you know I I tended to be a little bit of a troublemaker in school. You remember this? Yeah. And what was the ultimate what, plan? Rick, are you kidding? Is to convince what all the teachers I wasn't the troublemaker. I'll help you find the troublemaker. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly the, the troublemakers. Oh, yeah. are the, that's the ultimate. <laughs> Troublemakers convincing you they're not the troublemaker. That's that, that's that's been around for a long time. These people burning the cities are not Republican voters. They're not conservative. These are it was Santifa and the whole extreme. Boy, left. and Antifa's gone off the deep end. Have you heard their list? Yes. Good gracious. Yeah. We got All right. So, that. but let's get a good bu- a Biden blunder in because I that there's one side of me that where did he go? Where did he go? At least if he wins, we will have more of this. I thought about that, Greg. Does anybody know? Basement Joe. Oh, my granddad, Ambrose Finnegan. Uh, the, uh, Biden. You say, Joey, they love each other. Yeah. This way, was 1954. Uh, by, by the way, that did not happen. No, it didn't that happen. That is just a lie. No, no, no. That's no. just Ambrose a, Finnegan. That's, that's just Finnegan. That's, he just Finnegan. tells lies. <laughs> and then, then what the woman who robbed another day? Trump's a liar. What, what, is, what is Biden the, the, well, the Rick, truth? Yeah. Rick, their game is they, they okay. always accuse you of what they're doing. All right, yeah, so, you know that. So he's ready to play to the home crowd by saying what he should have said <laughs> is that he's wearing a Delaware blue hens jacket. Uh-huh. But but unfortunately, he says this. Mm-hmm. I was very happy to have the moniker of being known as Pennsylvania's third senator. I know Philadelphia well. I married a Philly girl, by the way. Mm-hmm. And by the way, I got my Eagles jacket on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Over <laughs> <laughs> the Eagles. Huh? <laughs> Very happy to have the moniker of being known as Pennsylvania's third senator. Yeah. I know Philadelphia well. I married a Philly girl, by the way. And by the way, I got my Eagles jacket on. No, no, no. Really. No, that's not a Philadelphia that's, Eagles that's jacket. That's Delaware Blue Hands. That's <laughs> Delaware Blue Hands. Hands. <laughs> Bless him. That's unreal. Yeah. Bless him, Lord. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, he's wearing the Delaware Blue Hens jacket and tells Philadelphia fans he's got his Eagles jacket well, on. Some kind of bird. <laughs> right. I got some foul here. All right, now, Rick. I'd, I'd like to set this one up, but I'm just going to see. Ask y'all, can you can you figure out what he's saying? Okay. okay? Uh-huh. I don't really know what he's saying here. Uh-huh. Take a listen. Got shades on. But they're going to be in court. I believe it's seven days after the election. Win or lose, they're going to be in court. If they get their way, a hundred million Americans will lose protections for pre-existing conditions. <laughs> what? Stay, stay with it. Stay with it. Listen. Million Michiganders. <laughs> Donald Trump thinks health care is a privilege. Listen. Barack and I think it's a right for people to have bad health care. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. We're going to store Obamacare. We're going to build on. We're going to keep your private insurance if you like it. And you can choose a medical, a medical like public option if you don't. Is he just going to say say that's not lies old? Deductible, <laughs> out of pocket spending, reduced prescription drug costs by sixty percent. 
<laughs> you, do you realize oh, that he's just going to tell us that same lie over yeah. again? Ask, ask the people yeah. who don't qualify for the subsidies that are on Obamacare. Talk to them about what it costs. Helmsley, mm-hmm. did he just tell the truth? No, that's 100% lie, and I lived it. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. Obama. Really? He just turned around and took the Obama line and just said it again. Yeah. It's amazing. We think it's it? see. The well, whole, we're not we, really sure. Yeah, the whole, there's the blue hen. And there's the <laughs> the whole Obamacare scam was. They told you it was going to be cheaper. It was called the Affordable Health Care, right. but it wasn't. For some. No, it wasn't even close to cheaper. Unless mm-hmm. you started qualifying for subsidies. But the whole thing was really meant to be a big transfer of wealth. Everybody else had to foot the yeah, bill it, for it. It wasn't. It wasn't Helms. what it was designed to be. They tried to. to to uh, just hit a bunch of liberal causes all at one time under the banner of health care. <laughs> Brock and I want bad insurance. I tell we you, got to hear that. We got to hear that again. <laughs> I, that, I mean, that had three of them in there. I don't know what that gracious. God love us. I mean, God love him, really, honestly. Well, if, like I how, said, if he does win, it, at least we hey, get that until they kick him out. How are mental health people standing by letting this happen?